Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cyprosis. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the cluster picking, which is one of the advanced order fulfillment approach that is derived from the batch picking. So here we can just consider three sale orders. Sale order one calls for one apple and one orange. Sale order B calls for one apple and one banana. And sale order C or three calls for uh, one orange, one apple and one banana. Here we need to consider three shelf. Shelf A contains apple, shelf B contains orange and shelf C contains banana. And here the picker has to just pick all these sale orders at once and place it in the cart. So the uh, picker will consider a cart with three empty packages. Now the picker will just navigate into shelf, shelf A and just pick the apple and place it in both sale orders. And I mean each of the sale order that is in sale order 1, sale order 2 and sale order 3. And later on the picker will just navigate into the shelf B and picks the orange and place it in sale order 1 and sale order 3. And later on the picker will just navigate into the shelf C and pick the banana and places in sale order 2 and sale order 3. As the picking uh, is done now the next step is to pack. So in order to pack the item the sailor uh, I mean the picker will just move to the output location and just pack the item and will be setting ready the packages for the outgoing shipment. So let's see how can we manage the cluster picking in Odo 17 inventory management. To manage with the cluster picking let's move on to the inventory module and we need to enable certain features from the configuration settings. First, we have to enable the packages because packages let you to manage your clusters. And here we know cluster picking is one of the approach that is derived from batch transfers or batch picking. So we also need to enable the batch transfers so that we can just process all these packages into a batch. Afterwards, we also need to just deal with the storage locations and multi step routes. So storage location lets you to manage different locations for the products and multi-step routes also manage with the routes while uh, shipping the product to the customer side. Now let's consider the product. So for that you can just move on to the products over here. And here just, we are just going to deal with the products apple, banana and orange. And we know these products are placed in different shelves. So in order to manage with the shelf we can just move on to the configuration menu at here. You can see locations. Now here we are just going to create uh, three locations which I have already defined over here. And here you can see different locations such as uh, A, B and C. Here the location A has the product Apple and you can see the current stock over here with the quantity and all. Now let's move on to the other location B and this location contains the product Orange and uh, here you can also see the other product under location C which is banana. So we have just placed different products in each of the locations uh, which is named as shelf A, shelf B and shelf C. Now we know we are just going to perform the cluster picking. So in order to manage with the cluster picking we can just move on to the product menu and here we can just find packages. So here we will consider three clusters such as cluster pack 1, cluster pack 2 and cluster pack 3. And here we need to set the package use as reusable boxes. Now let's consider the warehouse also. And in the warehouse we can just manage with the routes over here. So here we can see uh, the outgoing shipment can be 10 in one step for cluster picking. There can be two steps or three steps. But the recommended way of shipping the item to the customer is two step. Because here we know that the picker will move to different shelves and pick the item and place it in the cart and uh, finally once the picking is done uh, it will be sealed and will deliver the item to the customer. So we can manage that in two steps so in order to manage the outgoing shipment by picking and delivering the item to the customer you can choose the two steps. So now let's see how can we manage uh, the uh, cluster picking for uh, the customers. So for that we have to consider different sale orders. So let's move on to the sales module and in the sales module we can just consider uh, each sale order. Here uh, Deco Edict is going to place an order for the product uh, that is Apple and 
orange uh, in his order and here you can just use a product over here and later on you can save this and confirm the order and here you can see that the delivery will be done in two step and later on let's create another quotation for the customer with the product apple and banana now if the customer is azure interior and he wants one apple and one banana so you can just use the product in the order lines and later on you can just save this and confirm so as you just confirm the order here you can see that the delivery will be done in two steps now the final order is um and we know this order calls for one apple one orange and one banana where the customer is ori peterson so the order peterson one product one apple one banana and one orange so here you can see everything over here so let's move on to the orange and let's add that later on let me save this so uh, afterwards you can just confirm the order also so once you have done, done with the order now you can just move on to the inventory module and in the inventory module you can see that three browsers to pick now let's move on to the picking area where you can just find the operations that are ready to pick over here with the customers and all now you can see that uh, like if you want to just view the browsers to pick you can only view that so here you would be able to find the orders that are ready now we just need to add this into a batch because we are performing the cluster picking so in order to do the cluster picking we will be uh, just yeah uh, picking the items and placing it in the cart and we know the cart will have three empty uh, clusters of packages and uh, uh, the picker has just taken uh, the apple for three sale orders from shelf A and placed in three uh, of the packages and later on the um, picker will just navigate into shelf B and will uh, take the orange and place it in the sale order 1 and uh, sale order 3 and later on the picker will just navigate into the um, yeah uh, shelf C that is uh, shelf C has the product banana and we'll place the banana in sale order 2 and sale order 3 now we need to just batch the item so here you can see that we can just add this into a batch where we can just create a new batch and here the responsible person is Michelle Edmin which means the picker is Michelle Edmin and if you want to create the batch in a draft state you can just enable this field or if not you can just confirm the uh, batch and here you would be able to find a new batch will be created so if you want to create uh, I mean see the created batch you can just move on to the batch transfers and here you would be able to find the newly created batch with the batch reference number and all now the uh, operation is picked which means the uh, picking operation is done now as you just move on to the pick operations here you would be able to find the products uh, such as apple orange and banana and here now either we can set a source package or destination package over here so here we know we have just created different uh, packages such as the cluster clusters such as cluster 1 cluster 2 and cluster 3 so here we know in the sale order 1 uh, we know the sale order 1 calls for one apple and one orange so here you can just choose the cluster package 1 a uh, cluster uh, pack 1 and uh, with one orange and all you can set that and here we know in the uh, sale order 2 it calls for uh, one apple and um, uh, one banana so you can just set the cluster packet as cluster pack 2 and uh, in the sale order we know it calls for one apple one orange and one banana so you can set the package accordingly now here you can see we have just set or designated different clusters over here so later on you can uh, save this batch and validate so we have just 10 with the batch over here now let's move on to the sales module and in the sales module we can just uh, uh, move to the different uh, uh, sale orders that is the created sale orders and here you can see uh, that we have just picked the item and we can just deliver the item to the customers so here uh, this is the third sale order and if you want to just validate the process you can just click on validate and you would be able to find that we have just done with the delivery of the item that is one apple one 
orange and one banana and we have other two um, sale orders and we can just deliver the item to the customers and here you would be able to find that we have just picked the item and the next step is only to is deliver the item to the customer so we can just process the uh, steps and um, uh, here you would be able to find all the quotations and finally we are just going to deliver the uh, first quotation that is for one apple and one orange and here you can just validate the process so we have just done with the delivery of the item now let's move on to the inventory module and begin just find the reporting of the cluster so under the move history you can just make a filtration based on uh, um, yeah batch transfer so here you can see the newly created batch over here with all the details such as the product uh, that is included in the batch and here you can see that the product has taken from which location and uh, it has moved to which location and everything is uh, correctly uh, shown over here and uh, now we can also make a filtration that is based on the destination uh, package so here you can just make a um, custom uh, group filtration so here you can see the destination package and all but uh, as we just consider the filtration based on destination package you can see the cluster packs over here but the quantity is just updated to to uh um i mean uh, from two to four and uh, uh, six and all respectively this is because a cluster packing has already done for this uh product previously that's why the quantity is updated over here now uh, if you want to just go to the packages and review the package transfers you can find that so under the product menu you can choose the uh, packages and you can just get uh, the package transfer so the packages that is included in each uh, batch and the product and the customer details everything would be shown over here however the cluster picking has got some disadvantages that is urgent orders cannot be prioritized and um, the batch picking must be done manually so that this has got some bottlenecks. So I hope this video clarifies how to manage cluster picking in Odoo 17 inventory module. So if you want Odoo customization or Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cyprosis as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.